parents of a bride to be who was killed in a car accident doesn't know, doesn't want the convicted driver to be allowed to study abroad for college. An attorney for the teenagers asked a judge to allow the University of North Georgia student to travel to China this fall. Fox News Doug Evans spoke with the parents of the victim today who said that the teen already got off easy for killing their daughter. Records here in Coweta County show that a superior court judge last year gave what Kay Stevens' family thought was a lenient sentence for vehicular homicide. Court records show Jackson Ridgeway was a 17-year-old high school student in March 2017, and he was going 75 in a 45-mile-an-hour zone when he passed a truck in a no-passing area. His Dodge Ram pickup slammed into a car going the opposite way down Cedar Creek Road. 24-year-old Kay Stevens died instantly. Her fiancé, Dylan Harris, was paralyzed. Alan and Angie Stevens continue to grieve for their daughter Kay. And Alan, who was driving, also continues his recovery from serious injuries. I, I wake up every morning and that's the first thought in my head. And generally the last thought when I go to bed. Court records show Jackson Ridgway pleaded guilty to vehicular homicide along with three other charges. Ridgway got boot camp but no prison time as long as he behaves himself for the next five years on probation. He also got a $1,000 fine and 300 hours community service. The Stevens family says they weren't happy with that sentence and recall hearing over and over again in court that it was just an accident. They don't agree. He chose to drive that fast on that road and he chose to pass on a double line. So that's not an accident. Now court records show Jackson Ridgway's attorney has filed a motion to amend the college student's probation so he can travel to China this fall and study abroad. The motion reads, quote, as part of the defendant's course of study, he must study abroad and due to his major and minor, it's recommended that he take classes in China the next school year. Kay Stevens' family says they have not gotten an opportunity to change the consequences of that day and neither should Jackson Ridgway. So we don't think he needs the privilege of going out of the country. We contacted the attorney who filed the motion, but have not heard back for comment. A hearing for that motion will take place here in Coweta County Superior Court on Wednesday morning.